the weather windows in December, January, February can be a little tricky, um, especially when you're planning on making an offshore run. And Jason and I, you know, we had multiple day schedules, just, you know, we got canceled because of just nasty wind weather. When we got to the ramp in the morning, the first thing I'm thinking is this could be the weather window we've been looking for. Look at that hat he's got on. He's all flowered up. <laughs> we loaded it up. We met Jason at the marina and off to the beach we went and it was slick calm on the beach. Basically, with like the offshore game, you gotta have bait, man. You gotta have like a variety of bait. You gotta have your chum bags. You gotta have your dead bait. You gotta have your live bait. Today we had our main hidden chum. We had our uh, bonita chum. We had dead white bait. We had thread fins, uh, live pinfish, and live white bait. So, I mean, it makes a big difference to run that distance. And if you're not prepared, it's not gonna go down what you would like. You know what I mean? Oh, that's, that's it right there. That's, yeah. That's money. All right, I see the stuff coming on the bottom. Hit spot lock here. Spot lock. All right, so we'll start, we'll start just getting it going. Let's we'll start chumming. And I mean, definitely the case is activity is going to breed activity out here. So get some chum going, see which way this current's going. Kind of seems to be going straight back. So we got our pinfish and our white bait. I see some stuff rising off the bottom. Oh, yeah, already. we can definitely. <laughs> I mean, the jig at bite was silly yesterday with like the uh, red snapper, small amberjack, almaco jack. We'll just kind of use these bigger ones. The, the pennies, we'll kind of just get a little spread going. Yeah, this is like so in your element, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Kind of get the thing, get the process going, you know, at least kind of assess which way the current's going and that all, all that whole deal. Oh yeah, the bottom's coming alive. Oh yeah. Here we go. He's tripping on him. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Got something on you? Come back at me. Probably oh yeah. A little amberjack. Yep. Yeah, a little amberjack. See if we can get some life going here. Activity breeds activity, That's right? It. Yep. The Almaco jacks are actually good to eat too. I mean, this time of year, I mean, look at them all down here. The water's crystal clear, so we got yeah. we got good visibility. We're just gonna just keep working them over this rack. I mean, right now I'd say we'll just go ham and just put out a bunch of lines and just keep working. We'll just burn through some fish real quick. All right. Always a crowd pleaser, <laughs> even the real large ones. Some people, even my buddy, he'll, he'll look at some of the pictures of like the 100 pounders, he's like, I want no, pounders. he's like, I want no part of that thing. <laughs> you know, I really didn't know kind of what was gonna happen. I mean, I know Stock had in his mind, you know, all thought out of what was gonna happen, going here, going here, whatever. But, you know, at the beginning of the day, I'm looking at my live well, and not one time have I ever seen that many pinfish in my live well, both of them stacked to the gills, uh, literally. And I, I'm thinking, it's not gonna be a question of whether we have enough bait. <laughs> so we, we get out there and start catching some variety, and that's the cool thing, being a little outside of the box for me, going at 40, 45 miles in the Pathfinder, this was a cool experience that I don't always get to see. Oh, it's figured out its hook now. 
A little heavier or what? Same, same jack? Same, yeah. Oop. Oh, come on, banana chunk went <laughs> as soon as I gave it up. We're back. I see, I see how you work. <laughs> Go ahead and get that AJ, Jay. <laughs> this one might be a snapper. This is no snapper. Yeah. I think this one's the pinky. It's tuna. You're calling it? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't know. I've never caught one. Oh, really? No. Dude. I've had two caught on my boat over the years. Yeah. And they've been by accident kingfishing. Okay. They're a highly migratory species, that's for sure. Your they don't just... migratory very well back in 45 feet of water. Yeah. They don't like those parts as much. They enjoy the tall water, but uh... <laughs> the tall water. But I definitely, I've seen them in shallow, you know, and you definitely know it's him because black as can be, you know? Yeah, it's crazy, like this time of year, especially like, oh, these red snapper are thick, like on everywhere. But definitely a good summer hype fish right there. What'd you get? Gold pinky. Oh, look at there. Look at your boy, he's got a chum. I think that was from yesterday. Hey, they gotta eat. They are pretty fish though, aren't they? Let me go ahead and get this AJ out of your way there. Yep. That's a that's a stock charter special, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah, no. <laughs> this thing's will get people fired up. Once we're out on the grounds, you know, for these tuna, and Jason was pretty dialed in. He had seen them there before, and he, uh, you know, we get set up, drop the troll motor, put it in spot lock, and really it was all about the chum, you know, getting them happy. And we had to go through some amberjack first, uh, but we started seeing some significant boils on the surface. And sure enough, the rod that I flipped out with that pinfish gets bit. Oh, 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 daddy likes, daddy likes. That's him, 100%. Yeah, let's go! That initial run. Now, how much drag you like on these? I, I like to go light. Go light, huh? Go light. Let them ride, unless the shark get real bad. Oh, look at, I can feel it. <laughs> This one might be one too. We might have double. I'm going around you. Yep. Clear. I'm gonna move this rod up yep. to the front. See you it? Got, you got color yet, Poppy? I saw a little bit of color. Gotta explain it up. Explain it up. Let me get that. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, it is, 100%. Oh, how'd that Why feel? Why a double, Poppy? <laughs> we gotta get baby gaff out? Yo, we're, we're gonna get baby gaff. Or should we just tail him? I should... mean, we could tail him. Yeah. I, I feel we could tail him. I mean, I would like to, I, I ain't kidding. I'd like to try my gaff skills. All right, well, which which haven't been done in a long time. All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. How quick was that though? Uh, you want me to tail him? I, I mean, go ahead and well, I'll I'll, I'll I can tail hey, him. Yeah, go with your own tail. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> come on, come on, you got you got to come up to me. <laughs> I got an amberjack. Dirty oh. dog. I thought we had the double two nut. You want me a hand? Ah, I got I gotcha. Got him. Get him in the boat. Oh, look at that barely hooked. <laughs> Stud. There we go. I, okay. I thought I had a tuna, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Oh, look at that, huh? My experience with, you know, tuna fishing is really bycatch. You know, I'm a guy that's, you know, going out during kingfish season with a lot of chummers and, and chumming up the kingfish. And I've, caught, I've had like two blackfin tuna call on my boat. I've never caught a blackfin before. You know, Jay mentioned, you know, he's a bit, it'd be great to, you know, catch a tuna and the conditions were definitely perfect for, you know, going offshore and getting it done and checking off that tuna bucket list, you know. That's him. That's him? Uh, <laughs> come on, give it to me. Light it up. Oh, the other one's fixing to go too. All right, so this, this, this might, eh, it's hard to say. It's all good. I mean, you definitely can't control what eats it. They're here. We just gotta be patient then, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> shows a little light. <laughs> Too oh. nut. Too nut. <laughs> Target species. Oh yeah. That's what daddy likes to see. And your boy cool though. Dude. Built for speed. That. Built for speed and delicious. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Frothing. 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 <laughs> oh, Alright, let's go bleeder aisle one. You know, like Jason was talking, you know, our leader, the leader initially that I had put on there was a little heavy. So we downsized the leader, and then all of a sudden, we're catching tuna. Come and tell you. Oh. What? Oh. What? Yes! Yeah, that's, a, that's him right there! Special Saragossa! <laughs> Extra biting. Extra. <laughs> Okay, Let's okay, get... mini gaff is out. Oh, brace yourself for impact. Man. Oh yeah, you can see him in the back, turkey. Oh dude, look at that one. Oh, another one right there, another one right there. Oh, come right on. Up, I swear to God, right off this corner, right here. Right here, Poppy, right here. Okay, put well. T put T-Rex away. <laughs> T-Rex gaff, T-Rex gaff. All Ooh. right, let me get, oh, let me whoa, get this. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're beautiful, aren't they? Black and yellow, black and yellow. Look, I took the plastic off. Oh, that's the safety. <laughs> He's ready to go. Sa safety is off. Oh, safety is off. Extra danger. What do you think about that good new Gosa? That's Smo nice. Fun. Smooth. I love the Gosa, I appreciate them. Definitely Shimano, I'm Shimano all the way and I know you are as well. Yeah. You know, not to eat on any of the other real companies, but they're fi by far the best. 100%. You know? Oh. You see him blow? Oh, uh, well. Dude, uh, talk to me. I don't have that awful. Talk to me. Jay, it's now, a tuna where, where fish. Where do you want it? You want it like Jay, at the head? Jay, just get him any it way you can. It doesn't matter. I'll help bleed him out right yeah, here. Yeah, it don't matter. People are like, headshots only. I'm like, just get him in the boat. Because this, with a client, is at times stressful. Especially if they can't stand up. Right now, it's nice and calm. If it's nautical sea adventures out here and your boy's trying to Get him next to the boat. You see why I'm just taking my time. Oh, that's a stuff. Look how yeah. wide he is. That's a turkey. All right, get him with T-Rex. <laughs> I should have got it right there. You want me to get my long gap? No, 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 no. <laughs> Forget about long gap. Forget about long gap. We got him. We got him. We got him. Calm down. Just we're all good. It. I know, I'm just chilling. We're, we're all good. We're all good. We already got a couple in the box. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm chilling the cucumber. Oh, yeah. Oh! Let's go! I mean, look, look! Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I appreciate that. Dude. Oh, Daddy's gotta get. We got, or we got, we got Jay just for science purposes. <sighs> you know, he's like, I had to take the safety <laughs> off this thing. 
<laughs> On the inventory <laughs> scene, you're not really gaffing much red no, so. no, we're not. Okay, <laughs> going in the box. Oh, bleeder aisle one. Okay. Right. Extra biting, G. I believe that Jason Stock has a different dictionary. I mean, his words, it takes you a little bit to kind of, you know, really think about some of the things he's saying. Oh yeah, you can see him in the back, turkey. Rigor mortis is set in. Put T-Rex away. Uh, <laughs> T-Rex gaff. He'll say something completely off the blue that you really have to sit back and think about what really does he mean by that? But it's all in good fun and he is no doubt full steam ahead and with excitement, that's when you know you're fishing with the right guy because a guy that's just bored and doesn't want to be there, that's not any fun. That dude, Stock, he is loving the game. All right, Captain Jason Stock, Stoke Factor. It's decently high, you know. I like like triples and quads, preferably, but I mean that'll do. You know, uh, we caught a pile of fish that day, and I think that one of the things that you know for, was a little different for me is going so far out and catching some amberjack and catching some blackfin tuna. And I mean, I was super pumped about the blackfin tuna. You know, we don't get that many opportunities for that. And then Jason says, hey, we, we could change it up a little bit and run inshore a little bit and really change up the game, maybe bring home some additional uh, fillets for dinner. And I'm like, I'm all about it, let's do it. And let me tell you, we got on a pile of them. And just the amount of footage we got, I knew there was gonna be no way that we could get all of that into one episode. So. We're gonna do a part two, and let me tell you, you're gonna to wanna to see part two, so stay tuned. Oh, so. dude. Oh, God, they're already up to the surface. Yeah! It's on, dude. It is on, look at them, oh, they're eating the chunks! I swear, <laughs> Oh, dude, they're frothing. Oh, there's some red snapper coming up to the surface, too.